Hi everybody, um, well it's one o'clock on Sunday and it's the 3rd of July. First of all I'd like to say Happy Independence Day to all my friends for the 4th of July tomorrow, to all my friends in America. Have a great day and enjoy yourself if you deserve it. Well it's been about a month now since we moved and uh, even though I wrote a blog about it I thought what I would do is try and explain how the first two or three weeks went. As you know, the first two weeks wasn't that good. I was disorientated, I didn't know where I lived, I was wandering, which is something I'd never done before. Um, the whole stress of moving. Um, I did a talk at the memory Calf that tried to explain to people that unless you're absolutely sure about moving house while you, you've got somebody or you live with somebody or you love somebody or you're married to somebody with Alzheimer's or dementia, please, please think about it very, very carefully. Because I've come through it now, I'm happy to say, and uh, I'm second doing a lot, much better, um, and accepting and enjoying the garden, believe it or not. I used to garden years ago, and I've started to garden again now, so, which is a bonus. Um, but the first two weeks was, was awful, and if it wasn't for the, for the undying love and care that my angel Elaine has for me, and the care and support I've had from my family, and friends and the people in where I'm living now, um, I don't think it would have been, you know, the outcome wouldn't have been so good. Um, but as I said, we're a month into it now, we're a month into our new place. Uh, the pitfalls of moving are many, many, many things um, when you work it out. It's the, dis the orientation, it's everything that goes with it. It's bad enough moving when you're actually without a dementia. Um, it's bad, you know, it's stressful enough then, but to move um, house when you have a diagnosis of dementia is, is, is a big strain. There's a, there's a lot of worry there, and uh, not only for the person with dementia, but also for the person, you know, looking after them, or for the family that's looking after them. And it's the worry of the world, will they settle, and you know what, will they settle down, will they get used to the new surroundings? Um, I have. But I think that people may be a little bit further down the line than me, probably wouldn't. Uh, or not as quick as I did anyway. Um, so that's our update for moving. Uh, I'd like to say it's only 10 weeks off Dementia Awareness Day. Whee! Um, everybody's been absolutely fantastic. We have in Rotherham, we, they've hired, they're going to the town centre. Uh, they've got a band called Lost Chord who sing specially for uh, people with dementia. Uh, they've got art and crafts, they've got stalls on, and uh, face painting. In my hometown of Bolton, um, it's between 10 and four, in the Market Hall, which is the busiest place in Bolton, on a Saturday afternoon. And they've got the Lloyd Murray opening at 11 o'clock. They've got a band there, and they've got goodie bags full of information. They've got stalls, and that's gonna go on all afternoon, as well as the balloon releasing at night time. Down here in Torquay, I'm happy to say we've more or less secured the place where I live now and the huge lounge and dining room and we're going to have stalls, tombola and hopefully a surprise guest. Our friends at Memory Matters in Cornwall are going to be launching balloons and lanterns at the night time. Another good friend of mine who's opening the care home, not opening the care home, I do beg your pardon, opening the day centre in Cornwall and um, they're going to ask for Tom Daly, the Olympic diver, to open that. There's things happening in Suffolk. Bupa have um, emailed all the 160 homes or they are doing in August and asking them to join in, which is all over the country. The council in Suffolk. There's so, so much I could go on and so much I could tell you about that's happening. And all this happened because of one simple idea between me and Cher and because of a story I wrote about hope. Um, I'm hoping that everybody who's doing something will please write to me, email me, telephone me, any way you can and let me know because I'm going to put a big list up and uh, I'm going to post it everywhere. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed but nothing promised, I'm hoping to secure a very small TV spot around about August to promote this day as well down in the southwest. Um, so it's going to be a wonderful day, it's going to be a wonderful day of awareness and hopefully it'll be one that comes every year because 
I've just announced and I've just put it on my Facebook page that by the end of 2011 over 1 million people in this country will have a diagnosis of dementia and that's the people we know about. There are many, many out there that we don't know about. There are so many out there that um, are in denial and won't, won't go to the doctors. And there are also so many out there that's on their own. And they don't have a family around me like me or you. And they don't have good friends around us like me or you. And they're totally on their own. And we mustn't forget them on this day. We must try and remember them. We must get the awareness word out. And we must let them know that they are not on their own. Because having Alzheimer's diagnosis like I have, I have a wonderful family. And I have the best friends in the world and the best support in the world. But there's still moments when I feel I'm, a, I'm the loneliest man on earth. Because the dementia is in my mind. And nobody else is. The dementia has taken away my memories. <clears throat> Excuse me. And nobody else is. And my memories of my family my children, my friends and my time on this earth are slowly ebbing away. I haven't had enough time dealing with that, with a fantastic family and friends. How people out there who are on their own deal with it, I have no idea. So come on guys, let's make this the best day ever, right, and let's get the word out about dementia. Silent voices, no more. Let's hear, hear all your voices up, raised and telling the country that we're going to stand in the face of this disease and eventually beat it. Keep the faith, my friends. Thank you very much. Love to you all. Here in this country, America, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, wherever my friends are all over the world, goodbye and God bless.